Only if we save the DA can we save SA. And that's why I'm running. And I really think that the Federal Congress delegates who will be there will find that the, the way that the DA needs to go forward is by having a new leader and a different way. Helen Zilla's former political protege turned critic. Mbalindu Uli says current leaders are taking the troubled democratic alliance in the wrong direction and fail to inspire confidence. Nduli, who criticized Zilla, now Federal Council Chair, for colonial tweets, says just stabilizing the party won't keep it afloat. She says rural and township votes should not be neglected. I think that our current leadership is in a panicked state. I think that what they want to do is stabilize and maintain the status quo. And I think that that is the wrong um, approach to where the DA needs to be going because that means that we are going to stagnate and we're not going to go forward. And so I think the selection is going to be between whether you want the DA to stabilize and sort of stay where it is, or if you want to inspire people to come back to the DA, but also because they see that the DA is ready and able to inspire new South Africans to join it. I think that those are the two choices that we're going to see at this Congress. Zilla's return has been interpreted as the party wanting to win back white support at the expense of growth in black communities. Ntuli also took a shot at DA policy head Gwen Nguenya, saying her appointment was irregular while policy determinations seem unilateral. On Gwen Nguenya, I do think and I have said internally that perhaps the way in which Ms. Nguenya's appointment happened was procedurally um, uh, different to others, but it was at a time in the party where we had just had all our leadership resigned, and so I think that there was a gap for that appointment in that way. I do think that we should have had sight of the draft policies ourselves as the members uh, before they were given to the media, and that's exactly what I'm talking about when I say that we need to make the party fair and that the broader membership of the party needs to be involved, because otherwise what you have is a situation that becomes acrimonious unnecessarily when we actually could have just gone about uh, the way of letting branches and structures actually participate in this process. Dooley joins a growing number of contenders for the DA leadership position. Others include John Stian Hazen, Bongikosi Matigizela, and John Moody. Samkele Masego, SAPC News, Johannesburg.